Hi everybody, it's Sarah Cray and I teach watercolor and are you ready to get your crayon? Wow. Could you see it when I... Yes. <laughs> okay. That's my favorite shirt I've ever seen. Um, we are here painting the Let's Make Art Matter for our November Let It Be box. Now our recipient um, is very special to us. Um, her name is Mandy and she is a part of this llama community. If you're in the watercolor Facebook group, I'm sure that you um, have seen her posts or seen her comments. She's extremely encouraging. Um, and she's just so kind. And um, I really care about her so much. And she recently was diagnosed with breast cancer. And she actually turned to the watercolor Facebook group um, for words of encouragement because it's hard because that's really, really hard. And um, it was really wonderful to see you guys come together as a community and share with her words of encouragement on Facebook in the form of comments and in the form of messages. And then internally as a team, and actually it's Hadley who runs pretty much so many things here, suggested that we have Mandy be our recipient for our Let's Make Art Matter because we just wanna make sure she knows that we care about her and we're thinking about her and we're sending her so much love. So what we are going to do today is we are going to combine a few different techniques um, we're going to play with some neurographic art technique, some ink and wash technique, and we are going to do a B for Mandy for our Let It Be box. Love it. And I think that she would appreciate a little B. So that is what we are going to do. I'm using the supplies from my Let It Be box. So I have the colors, I have my paintbrushes and pens handy. Please know that if you don't have this box, you can absolutely still participate. Just reach out to hello at letsmakeart.com and they'll share with you the details if you wanna make Mandy a postcard. Um, we, I have my watercolor postcard already taped down. I taped off the edges and um, one, so I can get a clean edge and two, just because um, it's easier to paint on something small when it's taped down so it doesn't start to curl up on you. And um, we don't really have steps for this. We kind of just like, go with the flow with this so you guys can see my thought process and how it all works, okay? Mm -hmm. So um, if you guys don't know what neurographic art is, we actually did a project on it and it's like super meditative and like a really cool exercise. So if you're interested in that full tutorial where we go over the like proper way to do it, then um, please watch that. But essentially what you do is you free draw um, while thinking about something or someone, just whatever's on your mind. And then you go back in with ink and outline it. And then you fill in the little sections with different colors. So we're going to do that, but we're going to put a twist on it where we are going to kind of draw a B and then do neurographic art in and around it. So we're going to have like this neurographic element, but also have an image within that neurographic element. Does that make sense? Love it. Yep. Okay. So in order to do that, what I want to do is I want to um, think about the shape of a B and I am just going to sketch a B on my paper. Now, please know that this is your painting. This is your postcard. So if you want to do a different composition, a different project, you are absolutely free to. Um, I have mine horizontal like this and I'm just going to keep it pretty basic for my B shape. So I'm going to do an oval like so and then a wing and a smaller wing, a wing and a smaller wing. Maybe make that one a little bit bigger. <laughs> okay. Love him already. <laughs> and then I'm gonna do stripes because that's pretty much is what gives it away to a B, right? Yes. And then if you wanna put little antennas, you can. So I'm keeping it like a little bit more illustrative in terms of shapes and look so it's oval oval smaller oval smaller oval okay should i do this darker do you think they can see that i think that's fine okay and now what i'm going to do is i am going to do the neurographic part around this b so now that i have my drawing i'm going to start to essentially let my pencil scribble and do curves and lines around it and then we'll start painting and do the inking part okay now, Michael, I'm going to have you time me for, let's say, 20 seconds. So when I do the neurographic part, I'm just going to think about her and um, just giving, sending like good energy um, into this postcard for love and encouragement. Okay? Love it. You ready? On your mark, get set, go. And it doesn't have to be fast or crazy. You can see I'm just doing loop to loops.
it's okay if you go within the B as well. Man, how long has it been? Okay. There it is. <laughs> I'm like, I'm running out of space. That was 20 seconds. Okay. So we have our B and we have our neurographic R on top. Now, I think I want to try to decide if I want to do the ink first or the paint first. Paint first. Paint first. Okay. So let's start with the B. So I'm going to stay within standard colors, yellow and black. I'm going to use golden yellow for the stripes. Now you might be like, what are we going to use for black? Well, we're actually going to use our thick black pen to do the black stripes on our B. So I'm kind of, I'm like slightly ignoring, I'm not slightly, I'm totally ignoring the lines, the neurographic lines around my B. If you want to like do, you see how there's like a line that goes through here. Mm -hmm. If you want to do like maybe one darker, you know what I mean? Like if you want to pay attention to that line, you can, or you can just go through it. I'm going to let that dry. I'm not going to do the black yet. And then now I'm going to use different colors of the pinks um, for breast cancer. We're going to do blush and dusty rose, and I'm going to do different sections. So you see how like there's this section right here between the lines. Do you see that? Yes. So I'm just going to go through and paint the little sections, avoiding the wings. I want the wings to be white. So if you need to go back in and kind of like darken your wings to help you. That helps a lot. There we go. Okay. And we'll go over this with pen later. Um, the reason why, I mean, like you can do pen first, but you just really want to make sure that the pen that you're using, if you do do a pen first, does not reactivate with water at all. And this is where not only does the drawing come from where you're just kind of drawing and not really thinking about anything, filling in these shapes, you also can let your mind wander. Um, you can also take the time to think about Mandy, her family, giving her some support. And sometimes it's good for us to have these projects where we allow our mind to wander. You'll notice that I'm kind of doing every other section because I'm just, you can use as many colors as you want. Since I know that I'm just staying within two colors, I'm doing like every other section. So one, they don't bleed into each other. And two, um, so then all the colors aren't on top of each other. Does that make sense? Yep. I mean, you might mess it up, but that's the beautiful thing about this project is it's not really mess ups. Okay, I'm going to move to my dusty rose. And if you want to make sure there's absolutely no bleeding, you can wait for it to dry completely. Um, I'm okay with some bleeding. I actually think it is pretty cool. So I'm just going to go. I love these colors next to each other. Yeah, they're very beautiful. And if you have little white spaces, that's not a huge deal. Remember, we will go over this with our sepia micron. 
so you can outline it and cover up any white spaces. Another way that you can approach this is you can do like the neurographic part, like the scribbles, and instead of coming at it with like a project or an image in mind, you can kind of see what image you can find from the different shapes that you create. Okay, and then I'm gonna take my heat at craft tool, let that dry. Okay, now that is that has dried, I'm going to take my sepia and do the drawing aspect. Um, now this is gonna be interesting because like I'm gonna try and do it in a continuous line almost, similar to what we, like how I started it, but I don't know where I started it. So I'm just gonna go for it and we're just gonna see where it takes us. And I decided to go over the bee and the wings, mostly because I feel like if I didn't do it over the wings, it would feel like too separate. And disjointed. Yes. I've already gotten lost, but that's okay. I'm just gonna keep going. I have always wanted to keep bees. I just feel like it's, a peaceful hobby. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'm crazy. Maybe it's not peaceful at all and you get stung all the time, but I imagine it's peaceful. I think it's peaceful. Okay. That was my attempt at doing it in one swoop and didn't totally work out. So I'm just going to go back in and That actually feels pretty good. I do feel like I need a swoop over here though. So let's just add one. <laughs> and this is the beautiful thing too. Like this can be anything. You can add more swoops or not add more swoops. Like this is your postcard um, and your painting. And then you're gonna go in and wherever these lines intersect, you're just gonna thicken them. And again, it's, it's allowing you to take a moment and think. And I don't want you to have to worry about is this gonna end up looking wonky? Is this gonna be pretty? Is this going to be, it's not about that. And I think that's what the whole point of the postcards are. I don't think that the point of sending postcards is to make something so beautiful and amazing that you solve someone's problems. Cause I don't really think that's possible but it's more just about how can I let someone know that they aren't alone?
And I think that when we can do that, come together as an art community or just as people on this earth together, I don't know, I think if we let people know that they're not alone, it just makes it a bit easier to deal with hard things or maybe gives you strength to keep going. And how much you want to add to like the stripes and the squiggles kind of over the B is up to you. I'm just kind of thickening the lines where they meet along the edge. It looks like very interesting stained glass. Yeah, it does. It does. And that's the kind of cool thing about neurographic art is if you do that process of like doing the ink or doing the color and then kind of filling it out and stuff. It does have a stained glass look, which is very cool. Okay, and now I'm gonna switch to my brush and just for like, look how thick. That brush tip is so it's actually pretty easy to fill it in. can't decide if I want to like what to do with that right there if I want to just color it all black I think you can still see it in the yellow portions if you did color it black you know yeah you can still see the line well, let's do it then do you like to go back now yep yeah perfect <laughs> I'm going to leave the wings white. And there's our little bee Love postcard. It. I'm going to peel off the edges because it's so satisfying. my favorite part of all of these tutorials. Yeah, getting that clean edge. I kind of really loved what happened up here in this left-hand corner. You can tell it was really wet yeah. when I put the colors in and they bled a lot, which actually created this really cool look. Okay, and here is our neurographic ink and wash B project for um, Mandy. So please um, take the time to, to do this. The watercolor postcards that come in the box are already stamped and pre-addressed. So all you have to do is paint this and drop it in the mail. Um, if you're nervous about it getting damaged in the mail, we do sell something called Dorland's Wax, which is a sealant. So it's just wax that after your painting has dried, you just apply a layer of wax on top and that keeps it from smudging and it is waterproof after that. And I've tested it. Like I've waxed paintings and then like sprinkled and thrown water on it and it just wipes, wipes right off. It's magic. Um, so that's a great way to be able to preserve your artwork in general, but especially ones that are going in the um, mail, especially during November, which is um, wintry. Um, so please do that if you want to. And then if you, there is someone that you know that could probably benefit from getting a little bit of an art hug from our art community, you can nominate them on our website. Just go to letsmakeart.com, scroll to the bottom under resources. There should be a little um, nominate LMA matter button that you can click. Is there anything else I need to say? I think that's it. All right. Well, thank you so much for painting with me. Um, and thank you to Marcy for this shirt. <laughs> I really love it. And um, I'll see you guys next time.